Welcome back, long time no see. And our galaxy ship is back with a new design and shape and some new specifications. It now has a bigger cargo bay, more fuel tanks and four wings less than the previous version. In addition to that, it can now be refueled in space via this new docking port on top of it. And we have some cargo to transport on this mission. Number one is the senior to junior port adapter for our gas station. And this <laughs> pretty tiny beacon vessel, which we want to leave on Minmus after our upcoming landing there. Just as the older version, this vessel needs one more stage to get into space. Its total mass is about 120 tons versus the total 300 tons of the entire rocket. Its true delta V is about 4000 meters per second, which should be enough for today's mission. So let's get to the launch pad. So here we are once again, finally. Let's put the SAS on as usual, the altimeter to sea level and power down to 90%. And as usual, we need to go towards east. Please start the countdown. And lift off of the new Galaxy Ship 2.0 on its way to the gas station and Minmus. I hope we don't get into any trouble. 2000 meters, let's start the gravity turn. And we reach the next phase of the atmosphere, so throttle up a bit. Once again we see the little island with the old airport in the back. Let's head for our prograde to prepare for the decoupling. Here we go. Looking good. Now right above the old airport. Let's just get above 70,000 meters above the atmosphere. And we are reaching space right now. And engine off. Our apoapsis is now way higher, but that's okay for rendezvous. So let's just wait for it to bring up our periapsis. Here we go, throttle up. Looks good. Throttle down a bit now. That's enough. We now have a stable orbit around our home planet. So let's have a little look for our gas station. There it is. Combined 25. Let's just set it as a target. This is the orbit we now need to adapt to for our upcoming rendezvous. Start with the periapsis by increasing its altitude. And put the apoapsis higher so our station catches up with us. I guess that should be fine. Fast forward. Our station is behind us, so our orbit needs to be a little bit higher. So let's bring up the periapsis again from here. Head for our prograde. Let's stay here. And before we continue, I will just put down the authority limiter of our wings since we are in a vacuum now. And throttle up once again. And leave it like this for now. Fast forward, please. Let's get our retrograde a little bit closer to the anti-target. And here we have our first intersections, number two with only seven kilometers apart, perfect. And the station's indicator visible too already. And we reach the first intersection, so slow down a bit. Get to the right of our retrograde and throttle up. Try to aim for 1000 meters, maybe a little bit more. That's okay, stop. And a relative speed of only 30 meters per second. But we still need to work on our heading, so let's get the retrograde to the anti-target. This looks very, very good and engine off. Okay, 40 meters is a little bit too close, but um, we just have to break on time to avoid a collision. So let's break and update our heading. That looks good. And here we are. Our latest speed is down to 0.4 meters per second, so we stay on our current position. Head for the target. And try to get a bit closer to the docking port. Just small changes since the ship is so heavy. Time to open our nose to reveal our port and set it as the new control point. Not that easy to fly, but I think we can make it. Just keep our latest speed low, get our prograde back to the target, so we head right for the docking port. Hello. 
And here we have it. We successfully connected our galaxy ship with the gas station. So it's time to refill our fuel tanks for our trip to Minmus. Open our resource manager. Select all empty Metalox fuel tanks from the galaxy ship. And one of the station's fuel tanks for our refilling source. Just set those on out and start the first transfer. So our Metalox tanks are full again. Clear the list and do the same with the monopropellant. Check all empty monopropellant tanks from the galaxy ship. Choose one full fuel tank from the station and set it as the source. And we are done, so we successfully refilled all our ship's fuel tanks. But before we leave, we need to deliver one of our cargoes, so let's open our cargo bay. And there's our tiny port adapter, which we need to connect with the station, so let's just do that real quick. Undock the vessel. And <laughs> now everything is moving due to some bugs. And we just lost one of our wings. Perfect. This is gonna be a problem when we get back to Kerbin. Um, awesome, but right now we have to avoid any contact with it. So let's just get out of the way. You can see how truly small the adapter is. Cargo 1 is out of the bay safely, meaning we can close it again. So undock our ship, please. Sadly, all docking ports still seem to be buggy, obviously. Because of that, we now have only three wings remaining. Here you can see the spot where we just lost one. Well, who needs wings anyways, right? Re-entry is definitely gonna be an adventure. Let's close our nose too. And switch to our adapter, which is still floating in space. and just fly back to the gas station and its docking port. Actually way easier to fly this thing than I've expected. Just aim for the docking port as slow as possible. And our adapter is connected with the station. Very good. With the help of this device, even smaller rockets can now be refilled here. Could come in handy on one of our future missions. Our job here is done and we have still a long way to go. So don't waste more time and build up some safe distance to the station for our next maneuver. Putting a gas station up into orbit is one of the best ideas, I can fully recommend it. Also, say goodbye to one of our broken wings here, thank you for your service. Okay, time for some maneuver planning, our primary target is Minmus, but if the MUN is at the right position, we might manage to get a little flyby there as well. We got the MUN already, but let's see if we can get to Minmus as well from here. Not sure yet if it works, but... Oh yeah, we got it, very nice. Now let's see how close we can get to both moons, but I think that's it for now. That's as close as I can get from my perspective. I'll buy that. Let me just enable all RCS movements since I disabled them before our last rendezvous at the gas station. And head for our maneuver. Fast forward. And here we go, prepare yourselves. Throttle up. Very nice that our broken wing even gets its own indicator, so it never gets lost in case we need it. Building up the upper apsis, looking good so far. Slow down a bit so we don't overshoot our maneuver. Just a little bit more. And engine off, this should bring us to both moons. Alright, delete the maneuver and prepare for the long flight by extending the solar panels so our batteries don't dry out. And enjoy the ride. Let's see how close we get to the man on our first flyby. Mm. 
and we are approaching the month's bubble. Enter. And here we are. Looking forward to land there soon again too. We will definitely try to get closer on our flight back home. But for now Minmus is our primary target and our next destination. So let's continue our flight. Fast forward and see how the distance between us and Kerman and the Mann increases. Approaching Minmus now, so time to slow down a little bit. And here we have it. Okay, create the next maneuver to build up a stable orbit. 30 kilometers should be enough. And head for the maneuver. And fast forward. Heat up all systems and prepare for the next burn. Here we go. And now we have our orbit around Minmus. Wait a little bit longer so it gets lower. I think I leave it like that. That's okay. Let's check the moon's surface for a good landing spot. Slow down, time to decrease our apoapsis. Head for our retrograde and RCS on. And throttle up. We also could get lower, but I prefer it like this at the moment. Lower our main engine's limiter since the moon's gravity is very weak. And I want to land somewhere around here, I guess. The frozen lakes seem to be quite flat, so let's go for one of those. Okay, head for our maneuver. And fast forward. Okay, this is the lake where we want to land, so throttle up once again with our home planet in the far distance. We're slowly getting there, a little bit more. Let's just aim right for the middle of this frozen lake. This should be fine, I think we can leave it like that. Fast forward again. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, this is close enough. Set the altimeter to ground, 12 kilometers left. Adjust our heading, go for the retrograde. and get our velocity below 100 meters per second. Slow down our descent. This looks good. Engine off for now and let's fall a little bit. Landing lights on and slow us down even more. Get our retrograde on top of our nav ball so we can land upright at a 90 degree angle. Just like this, leave it like that. And gears down. Below 100 meters, here we go. Would be very nice if we don't get into any trouble now. Just keep it slow and steady. Just a tiny bit of throttle. Descending very slowly. I think we can do that. Oh, I didn't see we are not straight up anymore. Let's see if we can fix that. Oh, now we are jumping around, not very good. But maybe we fix that by lowering the spring and damper strength, hopefully. Wow, that was close. Way more difficult to land here than somewhere with more gravity, to be honest. So, we finally made it to Minmus with our new galaxy ship safely. I call it an achievement. But work is not yet over. Open our cargo bay. There it is, revealing our last cargo. Still seems to be intact, so let's just put it down onto the surface of Minmus. Undock the vessel here and let's go. Get out of the bay calm and safely. A low gravity has also its advantages, almost anything can fly here. Extend our <laughs> fake legs. Not my idea, but pretty genius, those antennas are perfect for that. Now build up some safe distance to the rocket so it can launch without destroying the beacon. Maybe fly towards those mountains to the edge of the ice lake. Looks like a good landing spot, I think we can land here. 
and we also delivered our last cargo successfully. I'm gonna use this beacon as a radar target since I want to place a Minmo station around it. Let's see how the beacon looks at night. Okay, well, the light is weak, but the radar is what counts in the end. And delivering it was a good test for our galaxy ship. You can never practice enough. Prepare our ship for a long flight back home by closing its bay. Start our main engine. Gears up. And head gently for 90 degrees. Next destination, the Kerbal Space Center.